very nice colorful presentation with the mango. Does anyone know what the uh, most popular fruit, the most widely consumed fruit in the whole world? Uh, it's mangoes, actually. Um, yeah. Of course, probably not in the United States, but wor worldwide, it is the mango. It's uh, eaten ten times as much as the apple worldwide. Oh, wow. So what would you serve this with? It can be an appetizer, or it can be um, served as a side with any Mexican dish. Chips? Uh, that's what I'm going to be serving with today. All right. Chips for you guys. I'm, I'm about ready now. I've got the consi consistency that I'd like, so when I add in my tomatoes and my onions, I won't be uh, bruising them. Of course, you don't have to worry about that as much when you're just using your favorite <coughs> salsa. Got about five ounces of the tomato. Is it more traditionally thin or thick? Um, 
I actually didn't read that, and I can get the an, a more specific answer for you if you'd like, but I'm guessing, just a guess, that the Aztecs ate it very thick since they loved avocado so much and since it was so good for them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm guessing. That's a big part of their diet, huh? Right, right, very important part, very good for ch the children um, because they, they didn't really have anything that had a lot of protein and fat in it. I'm just going to add a little bit to start. I know a lot of our viewers would probably be asking, if I don't have a knife that big, is it okay? <laughs> anything, lot, anything I see all these chefs job. using these huge knives. Um, I'm sure everybody has a knife in the kitchen. Any, any, anything will do, whatever, whatever gets the job done. I'm going to give this a taste here. And see what we need to add. Like I said, um, the balance is really, really important. Put the mango on the right. other side. Get a chip first. I know, right? 